What'd you do to your Mavic? Crashed it. Huh. <laughs> so this is the Mavic 3, and the Mavic 3 has a mode called FPV mode, and it pretty much sucks and it's borderline useless. But today, we're going to unlock God mode and hopefully not destroy a $2,500 drone. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the Mavic 3 on top of the Sicario, and this should essentially work out pretty well. We're gonna put the Mavic 3 into FPV mode, but the Sicario is gonna do all the heavy lifting. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. Should work pretty good, I would think. I think I got all this down here. Gotta make sure that we're in crossfire. And we don't even have to wait. Wow, that's actually the fastest it's ever locked GPS. <laughs> that's crazy. Maybe, maybe Did you hear maybe. it? All right, so you're in FPV mode? Yep. All right, so make sure we're recording. So we're good. You're good? Go ahead and record. We All right. recording. We're at 5.9K and uh, this is it. Here we go, wish us luck. Let's see if I can work the gimbal. That was a little weird. It felt like it came back. How's the gimbal looking? Good, and I can adjust it up and down. Sweet. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Isn't that was funny? I come up with a navigation system error. What's coming up with navigation? The Mavic 3. I feel like my sticks aren't like quite right or something. I don't know. We have an elephant on your back. Well, that. This would be cool to like adjust it here, like the gimbal. Right. Because you can get like all those cool angles. How are we looking? It's it's amazing. Things that you won't see a Mavic 3 do, ever. I love that you can see what I see, so it's like if you see something that I can't see, then you can assess the situation before I even see it. And it's crystal clear. Isn't that crazy though? All right, let's see. Level's out great. Does it? Yep. This is $5,000 over the water. And normally flying a Mavic 3 over the water is not a big deal. There you go. <laughs> These birds are wild, man. They're running. They are running. Now, I notice like sometimes it gets, is it stay, still staying pretty level? Oh yeah. You, you know, you've got your normal FPV mode where it's going back and forth. Yeah. But when you hit level, it, it levels straight out nice and smooth. Nice thing about this is you can pitch. There's exactly, so here we go. Coming up high. And see now I can, while we're up high, I can look down. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead for a dive. How'd that look? It looked like it was just floating. All right, let's try to get a little more aggressive with it. And the dynamic range on the Mavic is so good too. That's another thing I love. Did they put the soccer nets back in or no? No.
Wow. All right, let's come over by us so we can see it. Another cool thing is you can snap photos and stuff too. Oh yeah. That is massive looking. That's what she said. One thing cool about being in my position is I can actually see the drone. Let's bring it in for a landing and see how it lands. It looks like a, it's like a tarantula flying. <laughs> All right, so we'll bring it over here to land it. All right, so I want to take off again with it because I felt I felt like it was it was a little weird like when I took off. I don't know why it felt like that, but it felt like when I went to go take off, it came backwards before it went forwards. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but let's try it again here. We'll just try to take off here. All right, maybe it was just me. Yeah, straight forward that time. You recording? Yep. So see about pitching down right here. Wow, that water's clear. Yes, it is. You know, I might have to fly my Mavic 3 after this in, in FPV mode, see if I could even get anything like this. I don't, I don't think I can. I don't think you can. That bird just went kamikaze. Let's go for it. All right, we're at 21. We're coming in for a landing. And the biggest thing is like, you can get really dynamic shots, but you can't be overly crazy with it though. I'm telling you, it looks menacing. All right, let's bring it in. So I think all your storage went to the drone instead of the SD card. That's it fine. Just filled up. Let's go ahead and look it back. But it got it though. Let's watch it back though. Cause that's the cool thing about this. Like you can get done filming all this and then you can just watch it back. So this was that fly is three minutes. Let's see. It's really cool looking. Oh my God. <laughs> I know it's coming in a little choppy because of... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's shooting it back to here. It's gonna be a little... But man, it looks pretty smooth though for yeah, the most part. It's really smooth. Oh, it's not choppy like that at all when you're going. It's really, really smooth and fluid. It looks great though. The dynamic range looks amazing. It's gonna be so cool. Just, you know, all you gotta do is basically grade it, drop a LUT on there. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely viable for a lot of different reasons. And the cool thing about this is you can get like a lot more of that organic movements that you right. can't get from the Mavic by itself. Yeah, I'm gonna fly here and see if I can even come close to it. I don't think I can. Yeah, cause look at that sharp turn right there. How did it do on the dives? It did fine on the dives. It actually, it, you don't you don't even know you're on an fpv drone see and that i think is the coolest thing about this you can get those really fluid movements and you know for somebody who gets nauseous typically with fpv this is like this is it yeah it's really cool man look at that that's amazing right there it got a little jerky i noticed but i knew it would because i had to make a harder maneuver but it's it wasn't like that live Whew. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's not something you would probably typically do with your Mavic 3, but I think there is definitely a market for dual camera operator cine lifters, sort of like what we have here. And they're actually building quite a bit of them. A lot of people are building really big rigs that can hold a Ronin S and a camera. But I think that this is just a simple way if somebody wanted to try this out and have zero, almost zero latency camera control, Mavic 3 on top of the Sicario is definitely a viable option. I wouldn't say it's like perfect footage, but it does look pretty damn cool. We didn't tr we didn't crash it, so that is a good day.
checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't you no know, flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, recession.